everyone. Thank you for joining. My name is Daphne Mendoza. I'm Principal Technical Marketing Manager for Ansible Automation Platform at the Red Hat. And today we are going to cover a demo about how we can expand our automation use cases at the edge, covering the container and server upgrades. This demo was done by Moise Rivera and we wrote a blog together. So please take a look at the description in the video so you can see the details on what's the specific use case. But let's go through the demo now. We have three playbooks that we are going to verify. The first one is containers, which is the one that's going to get the running containers and see how many of them are active into the two edge servers. The second playbook is the application upgrade and this playbook is actually going to pull the image, rename it and push it for an upgrade. And the third playbook is rel upgrade. And this one is going to get the image ID. It's trying, it's going to try to upgrade the, the rel version. It is going to wait until the the process ends and after it completes it's going to connect get the new image id and verify if the upgrade failed or rolled back now let's check how it can be seen from the operator perspective when they connect to ansible automation platform and you will see how simple it is to trigger these automation jobs so we are going to run first the get running containers into the two edge servers one and two and we are going to launch the job and we expect to see zero container running in both of them because we didn't trigger these tasks. So here we see the target hosts. And as part of the output, we see that the number of container running are zero for at server one and two. Now we are going to trigger a script that's going to um, make system D start the container in edge server one and we can relaunch the job to verify now that edge server one has a container running. So we will see in the results which are the servers that are that have an application running and a container running. And here we see that Edge Server 1 has one container running. And we are going to launch the application upgrade from version 1 to version 2. So now let's see, after we launch the, the job, how all the tasks that are run in the background, like uh, getting the image, tagging it, and pushing it, are transparent and these are not visible for the operators. But if we see in the edge server one, we will verify that the image was upgraded. Then we can see that we have a new version there. Now let's test the OS upgrade automation. And here we are going to connect to edge server two to see the execution. The host to upgrade will be two, version two. We click on next and we launch the job. And here the automation job will trigger the OS upgrade. Now we expect this job to fail because we want to test the rail for edge green boot capability that will roll back automatically. But the value that the Ansible automation platform provides is that it is going to wait until the job is completed and it is going to connect and verify what's the image version. So we will be able to see if the job was successful or if it failed. And let's see how this works. So we can see that it triggered the upgrade and it is waiting. The automation job will wait until the OS upgrade completes. If we connect, we see that still some processes are running. And 
and the job will connect after the execution completes and we'll see what's the ending image version. So we see that the upgrade failed, that the running version is version 1. The green boot failed back, the upgrade automatically, but here we have the visibility and the operators can later troubleshoot only the failing nodes. Thank you for joining.